Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that relative to an origin O, the position vectors of three points A, B and C are given by OA equaling I plus 2B, J plus QK. OB is the vector which equals QJ minus 2PK. And the vector OC is equal to minus all of 4P squared plus Q squared I plus 2PJ plus QK where P and Q are constants. And for the first part of this question, we've got to show that OA is perpendicular to OC for all non-zero values of P and Q for two marks. And then in part two, find the magnitude of the vector CA in terms of P and Q for two marks. And finally, for the case where P equals three and Q equals two, find the unit vector parallel to BA for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll show you the answers. And then if you want to go further, I'll show you how I work them out. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now for part one, we had to show that OA is perpendicular to OC, so I can't give you that answer as such at the moment. But for the numerical answers to two and three, the magnitude of the vector CA is one plus four P plus Q squared. And in part three, the vector that's parallel to BA, the unit vector that is, it's one ninth multiplied by I plus four J plus eight K. So if you didn't get these and just want to see how I got these answers, then I'll take you through the work solutions. Well, for the first one, OK, where we've got to show that the vectors OA and OC are perpendicular to one another, we use the dot product. That is, we would expect the vector OA dotted with the vector OC or OC dotted with OA to equal zero. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with dotting two vectors together. If not, do check out my video tutorials. So for the I components, we would have the one here in front of the I multiplied with the component for I from OC. That's just going to give then minus four P squared and then you've got minus Q squared. All right. Now for the J components, it will be 2P multiplied by the 2P here. So that's going to be plus 4P squared. And then finally for the K components, you've got Q here multiplied with the Q here. That's Q squared. So we add Q squared. And what do we get? Well, the P squared terms cancel out and the Q squared terms cancel out, giving us zero. So as a conclusion, just say, therefore, they are perpendicular. And that takes us to the end then of that first part of the question. Now for part two, we've got to find the magnitude of the vector C to A. So to get from C to A, we could just draw a diagram here. It doesn't matter if this is not accurate, it's just the principle of it. Let's say we've got the vectors A and C here. If I want to get from C to A, let's just mark this say in red, then going from C to A is exactly the same as going from C to O, followed by O to A. Now, I can write this down as C to O, which is the opposite of O to C, so it's going to be negative O to C, and it would be followed by O to A, which is plus O to A. And I've just reversed these round, and this is a standard result, okay? O to the last letter minus O to the first letter. Should be familiar with this. So when it comes to working this out, O to A minus O to the C, 
When it comes to the eye components, we've got 1 here, and we're going to subtract minus 4p squared minus q squared. So that ends up being plus 4p squared, and then plus q squared, and that is in the i direction. As for the j components, we'd have 2p here, minus 2p, so that's 0, no j component. And for the k components, we've got qk, minus qk, so no k components there. So the only component is an i component, and so therefore that makes finding the magnitude of the vector c to a very easily. All it is, is just the coefficient of the vector i. In other words, 1 plus 4p squared plus q squared. OK? Now, for the last part, part 3, OK, where p equal 3, q equal 2, we've got to find now the unit vector parallel to the vector b to a. Well, we better get the vector b to a first of all. So following this kind of principle here, it's a standard result. It's the same as going from the origin to a, o to the last letter, minus the origin to the first letter. OK. Now, if we just fill this in with what we've got, O to A minus O to B. For the I components, we've just got one I here. We've got no I component here. So it's just going to be one I, or just simply I. As for the J components, we've got 2P. And we've got minus Q. So we could put that in brackets and put plus 2P minus Q. And that's in the J direction. Now for the k components, it's going to be q minus minus 2p. So that would be q plus 2p in the k direction. So put that in brackets, q plus 2p in the k direction. Now we can find out what that vector is just by saying when p equals 3, we know that q equals 2. And so therefore, the vector b to a is going to equal i. And then for the j component, 2p, that's going to be 6 minus the q, 2. That gives us 4 in the j direction. And for the k component, q plus 2p, that's going to be 2 plus 2 3s, which are 6. So 6 and 2 is 8. So you're going to get 8k. Now that we've got the vector ba, to get the unit vector, we need to work out the magnitude of the vector ba. So the magnitude of the vector b to a, we do through Pythagoras' theorem, and that would be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So that would be 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared. And if you work that out, that comes to the square root of 81. We're only concerned with length, so we don't need plus or minus here, and that's nice because that's 9. So therefore, the unit vector in the direction of b to a, and I'll denote it as a unit vector just by putting a circumflex over the top here. It's going to be the vector b to a divided by the magnitude 9. So I'm going to go for 1 ninth multiplied by the vector i plus 4j plus 8k. You can obviously divide each of these components by the 9, just say 1 ninth i plus 4 ninth j plus 8 ninths k. It's up to you. But there we go. There's our unit vector.